Hey y'all, Vince Brad here, and I got this uh, Voltol EM150. Uh, this is just the standard 150, not the Dash 2 variant. And there's not a whole lot of information online, so I kind of wanted to go over, uh, yeah, wiring this thing up uh, and, you know, what it takes to hook it up. Uh, first off, this is the Supra plug I'm using. Uh, I actually just stole this breaker off the drift trike. But it gives me a nice switch and a breaker. Do something like this, fuse. 48 volts or higher is where it's getting into the dangerous zone. It's not like a little 12 volt tingle off a car battery. You could seriously hurt yourself with 48 volts. Um, so yeah, build, build a good harness to test with. Don't do jumper leads. Don't get funky with stuff. Keep the cover on. Um, you know, just be mindful, be careful. Do, you know, practice good due diligence so anyways there's five lugs under the cover here battery positive uh u is the blue phase v or blue cable uh off the motor phases v is the green and w is the yellow battery negative um you'll need battery positive off of uh um the, the battery positive to power everything up and to put power to your display so it reads properly, but we'll cover that separately. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the cable in here. Let's go, uh, let's do the ones off screen first. So this one here, this six pin uh, clips in here, these are kind of funky and I would classify them as a water resistant, splash resistant plug. I'm gonna pack this side up full of silicone grease I can't change it. This side I'm gonna put weather packs on. Um, this is your haul cable. It's independent, just plugs in on this side. Um, just match all these wires up. We're not gonna get into reversing. Red's positive, black's negative. Uh, your three haul wires, blue, green, and yellow, and then a white's temp sensor. So if you don't have a temp sensor, you could ignore that, but that's what that white wire is for. So that covers that harness. This harness is an anti-theft harness. It plugs in over here. Um, these are the motor lock wires. I don't know what they do. And this is the anti-theft wire. I don't know what it does. So that's what we're gonna do with that cable. Um, I don't need it. It's not useful for any of us. I can't find any information on it. So in this wire and loom here, I'm just, showing it to you all stock right now the all white one is the the speedo cable the line cable um if you have the can bus version under this cover where it says the date and the serial number it'll say can if you have the can bus version you'll want the programmer that is black taped over and um yeah then you'll need to be running a can bus battery i think I'm not sure on that, but then yeah, you'd be need to run a CAN, to, CAN bus display. Then instead of using this wire, you'll be using the CAN bus uh, in and out, positive and negative. But this line one, if you hook this to your display, power your display. You can't power your display after you power up this. They have to all power up together so they synchronize, um, so that so they talk back and forth. But um, uh, I forget how they word it. But anyways hook this up and then battery positive and ground to your display or display will work. Um, the next one here is our programming cable. It hooks up to the USB. So this is the non CAN bus version. You only actually need three cables. It's the ground, um, RX and TX. I don't know which ones of those are, but yeah, RX, TX are on the bottom. The, I guess dark blue and orange and then the black one here's ground this pink one is five volts so like I'll be using this little Bluetooth uh, dongle to remotely program so I don't have to run five volts it's actually in parallel with the throttle uh, five volts here so that's that's pretty dang handy um, so I'll be able to hook that onto there but if you're programming off your computer you don't need to do that what you do need to do if you're programming off your computer is power this unit up with the e-lock powered up, and we'll get to that in a second. Cable all plugged in, the computer powered up, then plug this in, and if the drivers are installed, then you should be able to connect. Uh, that'll be 
a separate video, I guess. We're not getting into connecting to the computer, but it was surprisingly easy uh, to do, even though the GUI is like MS-DOS uh, flavored. So anyways, the throttle. Uh, yeah, pink is five volts. Black is ground and green is the uh, signal back to the controller. So you need to get these in the right order um, uh, with whatever, whatever throttle you're using. It's really easy to move. If you're using these plugs over again, they give you a whole bag of them. Um, that's how I was able to make this cool cable. Um, yeah, do, do that, do it upright. Use good connectors, don't twist stuff together, don't bodge it. Get those in the right order. Um, let's just pick the next guy up here so the reverse. So one, you just have the black ground and then it's the gray with the white stripe. Uh, maybe it's like a brownish color, but white stripe. Um, that is your reverse. So if you hook those together at neutral, you should have reverse. I'm not using that. If it's a bigger motorcycle or cart or something you don't want to push backwards reverse could be actually pretty dang handy so don't discount not having rever or that you won't use reverse because it in the right situation it could be handy um the next one here i have labeled as ignition but they also refer to it as your e-lock it's the purple wire with the gray stripe down that i don't know how well you guys could see that on camera purple wire gray stripe that's the one that if you power this all up, it doesn't really do anything. But as soon as you power this up, then the controller comes live. So this is the one you'll want to key switch. The next guy up to bat here is our Speedo plug. Uh, and this is a three speed plug. Um, you could operate it as a two or three speed unit. I'm gonna operate it as a two speed. You could select that option in the, the firmware. But the center pole is ground. Uh, the black one here on the end with the white wire is high. So if you hook that to ground, you'll get high, high gear. The far outside one, the green and the white stripe is low. So if you hook ground to that, you get low gear. So for a regular uh, single pull double throw switch, you could just switch between high and low speed, which is... Um, on my application, the Suron, that'll be perfect for the Eco and Sport switch. And then if you don't have anything hooked up, it defaults to the second gear, which is um, uh, open. So if you just leave these all open, then that's that second. Oh, wait, we covered a throttle lid here. Next we got is the high brake. So high brake means it's high voltage reference comes to here is what will trigger the the brake cut off motor. So that's a handy safety feature to have if you uh, have a situation where you're going to hurt the drive line or youngsters are driving it or whatever else. For me, where I'm going to be using it on a motorcycle, I'll have this option where I could hook it up if I need it, but generally where I won't run it. So that'll be an optional. I don't know if it'll have it on a switch or just a plug somewhere or something. But yeah, that's that's what that bad boy's there for. This one here, or right, let's cover this guy next. So this is the low brake. So here's a ground signal to it. Oh, and high brake is 12 volts. So you want to put 12 volts to it. You don't want to put battery pack voltage uh, to it. And then um, low brake is you run that to, um, and that's your black one here and then the brown one i guess it's black with like a grayish brown stripe that's your low break so if you hook that to ground it's the same thing as hooking 12 volts to your high break uh that's just a low reference low break reference it's not like you get a low range break and a high range break or anything like that it's just it goes to the low side you pull it down low so if you hook wired if you just want to have a simple brake switch or some sort of dead man safety switch or something like that. You could hook it to here. And if you just hook these two together, it kills the motor or can't run. Um, so that could be good for, you know, many uses. This is the sport mode. So they have a momentary like boost turbo feature 
that you can put on a switch and that's just this yellow wire with the white stripe. If you hook that to ground, which again, this ground here and all these grounds here are all common, but just hook those together and I don't know, you could set that, configure that in the profile, but you could hook up a momentary boost feature, um, you know, to run up against the limit of your, your maximum, whatever your, I guess, whatever, uh, parallel sets you have of batteries whatever the max burst rating is you could run up against that if you really needed to like give it the beans to the ooga doogas um, one other thing i should probably also cover here is the ignition wire you want to supply that with 48 to 72 volts um so yeah just pack voltage want, wants to go to that and yeah that that's about it um in terms of hooking this up and putting it together so yeah i did it's surprisingly easy. This controller is it's a chunk of boy. Um, it, it feels pretty good. There's this guy, uh, D Bodger. He actually, I, I had this thing on order uh, coming from China. I ordered it straight from QS Motor. Um, and it's funny, I've been following him and he's, he's got a fairly small channel. Uh, gets a little ranty at times, but he's, <laughs> as I'm ranting, um, but he's, good he brings teardowns and stuff and he pulled this thing down and you know was very impressed with it i was very impressed with it and i have layman eyes but anyways um take a look at one of these volto controllers because like for the suron they're going for seven hundred eleven thousand eleven hundred dollars for a controller um i got this thing with the display shipped to me less three hundred dollars or so i'll have 350 in my conversion altogether with random bits of cable and that sort of thing um yeah you can't beat that um at least so far i'm pretty stoked on this anyways video to come